I'm no messing around and today I'm gonna try something a little different and I'm gonna show you how to build what was just in the little package <laughs> first things first we're gonna need some materials and luckily I got you some little crystals uh, some XPS foam just a chunk out of a huge 4x8 sheet a wooden base and some leftover epoxy. First, all we need is this. I'm gonna show you all of my years of experience to shape this. If you don't like the noises, I do apologize. What I want is a nice hill. The crystals are gonna come bursting out of. Also has to fit. a rough shape. Leftovers. After some toiling, we've got places for pieces. There will probably be a tree. Slide this under a little bit. Oxy chip. Put some away. Not harder. It actually works out right now. Take some uh, turquoise. I'm just gonna paint it right on. So I don't worry about that too much. Beautiful. Voila. I'm just wait for that to dry. Let's glue on some crystals. crystals bursting out. And the next thing we're going to need is a tree. But to do that, we have got to go over here. Just off in this little corner, I've got a wire. Slip it a whole bunch of times. Same height, put them roughly in half, cross them, twist. Split that in half ish. Going to use the roots, so I'm not going to do those. Let's see if we can get to work. Oh, there Next is putty, and now we putty. Two. Now some putty water. Mix with a little bit of vinegar to slow down the hardening.
now. We let that sit for like 20 minutes and then we can play with it some more. All we're gonna do now, we're gonna take this little stick and we're gonna shape it a little bit. It's still pretty soft. Rough it up a little bit so that it can take the next step better. Uh, also scrape it away from the edge. Nice clean edge. Make sure the edge of that's covered. Now, I consider that uh, roughed up and refined. Okay, putty is set. You can see that pretty well. I'm um, just gonna pick at it a little bit, I think. Glue. Did I have to? No, I didn't. Hey there! While the sand dries, I'm gonna take a second as a content creator and ask you to please like, subscribe, and share. But more than that, I have a Patreon. Now I know what you're thinking. Don't be turned off by the fact that it's a Patreon you might have to pay. I have a ton of free content for my followers. There is also a massive amount of exclusive content for patrons. Build videos, how-tos, general updates. All you have to do is log into your Patreon or create a free account. Search up No Messing Around with a G on the front and follow me. One day, you might even be a patron. While glue and sand are self-explanatory, the next part's gonna bear a little instruction. But first, we're gonna clean this off a little bit. Now that we're brushed off, time for the tree. A little Mod Podge, a little bit of paint, a little bit of wood flour. Not a big space we're doing, so not a lot of paint. Wood flour comes from cutting medium density fiberboard. Then the brush to apply it. Finally, the Mod Podge. Scoop one in, scoop two in, and then you can make Add wood flour till it's nice and pasty. So now we jump swiftly into uh, dirt paint. I'm going to take a little bit of burnt sienna, burnt umber, maybe. We're going to put that right next to it. More Mod Podge. Then I'm not going to mix the colors together. There is no good way for me to grab that. Sorry, folks. No color mixing. When it gets on the epoxy, it comes right off, so it doesn't matter.
Now we've got the first layer of dirt. Next, we'll be adding a selection of stones. I picked some natural stones and uh, one man-made decorative one. And when I say man-made, I mean it's tumbled. It's not man-made, obviously. Rocks do a couple things. They add visual interest. They hide mistakes. More natural uh, when you add them at this stage. Since my miniatures are mostly decoration, I add things for visual interest and imagination too. Now the rocking's done, we can move on to flocking. Okay, let's do some dry brushing. Whoop. We got cheap yellow ochre. I have some folk art paint. Juan Chamois. Probably anyway, uh, apple orchard and uh, sunflower. The uh, Mod Podge is not part of this this time. Dry brush. I keep forgetting this comes out of left field. Sunflower, down. Apple orchard, down. Standard amounts, far too great. I can't find a tree. Just kiss it. Just in spots. Okay, so this is what happened. For some reason, I can't figure out when I'm recording over here and when I'm not. So right now I know I'm recording because I'm looking at the numbers go up. Here's the deal. I put flocking on. I took this Mod Podge, yep, Mod Podge came back to date. And I took this spectacular flocking, and I sprinkled it on. It's really not that hard. I made this myself from sawdust that I get from uh, work and uh, paint and some other stuff to make sure that it uh, blends up real nice. That's what happened. We're on to foliage for the tree. There are many ways to do trees. This is one of them. The decision had to be made for trees. I was the only one home. So here we are. Foam, foliage, Western scenic. We're gonna stick them on right here. tree. I'm going to let it dry a little bit and then I can mess with the foliage a little bit more. We're going to dry brush the tree. That is how you add texture detail to a tree. So now, we add some details. Adding details puts extra interest into your pieces. We're gonna be adding fruit, sticks, and leaves. First up, the steeps. Now some fruit.
Now for some leaves. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. And if you didn't, watch another one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Whether you found this on Patreon or YouTube, gonna be in both places. Please like, subscribe, and share this with all your friends. This video was brought to you by No Messing Around, where almost premium miniatures and subpar online content come to play. As always, happy gnoming!